Tracy, Melissa, welcome to England, Thank welcome you. to Birmingham Thank and you. the last night of a one-week uh. tour. And you just gave us an absolutely magical start to an interview, which was the, the tattoo song, which is a, a gift to your fans. Tell us all about the tattoo song, where it came from. You said it's a funny story. Well, I was just thinking of the recording of it. First oh. of all, I think the song itself uh, never became a single or anything, and it kind of had the beehive sentiment, independent girls, being on your own, being strong, and that kind of a thing. But um, when it came to record it, a friend of ours who was a producer in California flew over named Marvin Etzioni. He's had a couple number ones. He used to be in Lone Justice. Famous band. So we spent days and days in the studio doing this, feeling for the first time that we really had a limitless budget. So we had the guys that did the French horns on Penny Lane for the Beatles come in. Yeah. We had some of Fairport Convention come in and do strings and violins and mandolins and tuba and bass and harmonium. Eventually it got so out of control we had like Mar 84 layers of different <laughs> strings. Nobody could figure out what was going on then. And then finally, Martin's wife was pregnant and they recorded the heartbeat of the baby in the womb. And that became the click track with the baby's heart right. didn't beat in wow. time. So we're trying to play to a click track that's a human inconsistent heartbeat and the dollar signs and were And do you going. remember when they gave, Marvin's a little eccentric. He is in art for art's sake, music for music's sake. Right. So he would keep the tape running while we talked and get the snippets. He had us read poetry before we went. He gave the A&R men a stack that high of tapes. No, you go right. in with the tape and say it's on the And first. the A&R yeah. men said, I can't find the song. I can't find I the bloody poetry. song in here. I hear the baby's heartbeat. I hear some <laughs> horn somewhere. Marvin interviewed the guys from uh, that played on Penny Lane, and it went on forever and ever. Eventually, it could not be mixed to the record company's right. satisfaction. So this wonderful, expensive treasure that we poured our hearts into. Right. We were working with a friend, and we believed in what we were doing in the poetry. Yeah. It never really got out there. I think it came out as an obscure B-side, but um, it's nice to bring it back to its grassroots, its beginning, right. the acoustic guitar. After it's a sweet right. song, too. Beautiful it was, too. Ironically, we get asked to play that at friends' weddings, which is funny because it's a song about not needing marriage. <laughs> I don't need a picket fence, I don't need kids, you know, so yeah. kind of yeah. weird, but anyway, we sing it um, happily. 